Introduction In every atom, the positive charge and mass are densely concentrated at the center of the atom, forming its nucleus. The overall dimensions of a nucleus are much smaller than those of an atom. Experiments on scattering of alpha particles demonstrated that the radius of a nucleus was smaller than the radius of an atom by a factor of about 10 to the power 4. This means the volume of a nucleus is about 10 to the power minus 12 times the volume of an atom. Atomic Masses and Composition of Nucleus The mass of an atom is very small compared to a kilogram. For example, the mass of a carbon atom that is 12 seen is 1.992647 into 10 to the power minus 26 kg. Kilogram is not a very convenient unit to measure such small quantities. Therefore, a different mass unit is used for expressing atomic masses. This unit is the atomic mass unit or the AMU defined as 1 12th of the mass of a carbon that is 12 C atom. According to this definition, the equations are shown above. Discovery of Neutron The schematic drawing of Chadwick's experimental apparatus is shown in figure The high energy radiation emitted from the polonium beryllium source on the left hand side is led to the cloud chamber in front of which a paraffin layer is placed. The radiation is scattered by a proton in the paraffin and a photograph of the recoil proton is taken in the cloud chamber on the right hand side. Chadwick collided the radiation emerging from the source not only with proton paraffin but also with the helium and nitrogen. Comparing the results of these experiments with each other Chadwick concluded that the mysterious radiation is electrically neutral particles with almost the same mass of a proton. This is the confirmation of the existence of a neutral proton predicted by Rutherford. Chadwick named this particle Neutron. Mass Energy In physics, mass energy equivalence is the concept that any mass has an associated energy and vice versa. In spectral relativity, this relationship is expressed using the mass-energy equivalence formula shown above. The formula was derived by Albert Einstein. In the formula, C square is the conversion factor required to convert the units of mass to units of energy. In the international system of units, the unit for energy is the joule, for mass, the kilogram, and for speed, the meters per second or m by s the whole square. Nuclear force the nuclear force is the force between two or more nucleons. It is responsible for binding of protons and neutrons into atomic nuclei. For average mass nuclei, the binding energy per nucleon is approximately 8 mega electron volts, which is much larger than the binding energy in atoms. Therefore, to bind a nucleus together, there must be a strong attractive force of a totally different kind. It must be strong enough to overcome the repulsion between the protons and to bind both protons and neutrons into the tiny nuclear volume. Properties of nuclear forces The basic properties of nuclear forces are shown above. Radioactivity Radioactivity is the process in which an unstable atomic nucleus loses energy by emitting radiation in the form of particles or electromagnetic waves. This decay or loss of energy results in an atom of one type called the parent nucleide transforming to an atom of a different type called the daughter nucleide. For example, a carbon-14 atom, the parent, emits the radiation and transforms into a nitrogen-14 atom, the daughter. This is a random process on the atomic level, in that it is impossible to predict when a given atom will decay. But given a large number of similar atoms, the rate of decay on average is predictable. Types of radioactive decay Three types of radioactive decay occur in nature. One. Alpha decay in which a helium nucleus that is He42 is emitted. 2. Beta decay in which electrons or positrons, particles with the same mass as electrons but with a charge exactly opposite that of an electron, are emitted. 3. Gamma decay in which high energy photons are emitted. Law of radioactive decay In any radioactive sample which undergoes alpha, beta, or gamma decay, it is found out that the number of nuclei undergoing the decay per unit time is proportional to the total number of nuclei in the sample. If n is the number of nuclei in the sample and delta n undergoes decay in the time delta t, then delta n by delta t is proportional to n or delta n by delta t equals lambda n, where lambda is called the radioactive decay constant or disintegration constant. Half-life 
the time required for half of the atoms in any given quantity of a radioactive isotope to decay is the half life of that isotope each particular isotope has its own half life for example the half life of the uranium 238 is 4.5 billion years that is in 4.5 billion years half of the u238 on earth will have decayed into other elements in another 4.5 billion years half of the remaining u238 will have decayed one fourth of the original material will remain on earth after 9 billion years the half life of carbon 14 is 5730 years alpha decay alpha decay is a type of radioactive decay in which an atomic nucleus emits an alpha particle two protons and two neutrons bound together into a particle identical to a helium nucleus and transforms or decays into an atom with a mass number for less than atomic number two less in alpha particle it is the same as a helium 4 nucleus and both mass number and atomic number are the same a well known example of alpha decay is the decay of the uranium 23892 to thorium with the emission of a helium nucleus as shown beta decay beta decay occurs when a neutron either within a radioisotope or as a free neutron spontaneously decays to form a proton an electron and an electron antineutrino this emitted electron has high kinetic energy and is called a beta particle a neutron undergoes spontaneous beta decay to form a proton a high energy electron that is a beta particle and an electron antineutrino whilst atomic and mass numbers are conserved in the process the combined mass of the products is slightly less than the original neutron mass this amounts for the energy released beta decay of thorium Many radioisotopes undergo beta decay. The example below shows the beta decay of a thorium 234 nucleus. Beta decay of 234 thorium results in a high energy electron that is a beta particle being released from the nucleus plus an electron antineutrino. The daughter nucleus thus formed has the same mass number of 234 as the parent but is one higher in atomic number as the decaying neutron has changed into a proton which is retained within the nucleus. The proactinium 234 nucleus will still contain excess energy which it gets rid of almost instantaneously by emitting a high energy gamma proton a gamma ray gamma decay in gamma decay a nucleus changes from a higher energy state to a lower energy state through the emission of electromagnetic radiation that is photons the number of photons and the neutrons in the nucleus does not change in this process so the parent and daughter atoms are the same chemical element in the gamma decay of a nucleus the emitted photon and recoiling nucleus each have a well defined energy after the decay the characteristic energy is divided between only two particles properties of alpha rays The properties of alpha rays are shown above. Properties of beta rays. The properties of beta rays are shown above. The properties of gamma rays. The properties of gamma rays are shown above. Nuclear energy. The greater the binding energy, the less is the total mass of the bound system, such as a nucleus. If nuclei with less total binding energy transform to nuclei with greater binding energy, there will be a net energy release this is what happens when a heavy nucleus decays into two or more intermediate mass fragments that is fission or when light nuclei fuse into a heavier nucleus that is fusion in a nuclear reaction the energy release is in the order of mega electron volts thus for the same quantity of matter nuclear sources produce a million times more energy than a chemical source nuclear fission The process of breaking up the nucleus of a heavy atom into two fragments with the release of a large amount of energy is known as fission. The fission is accompanied by the release of three neutrons and energy in the form of gamma rays. The reaction is represented as follows. The compound nucleus undergoes distortion due to the excitation energy to attain the shape of a dumbbell and finally splits into fission products that is Ba141 and Kr92 with the release of three neutrons. nuclear fission of uranium 235 a stable atom of uranium 235 becomes an unstable atom of uranium 236 that is a radioactive atom when it absorbs a neutron the nucleus of an unstable u236 atom breaks apart spontaneously releasing a large amount of energy nuclei of two lighter elements and three neutrons other u235 atoms can absorb the neutrons that are released forming more unstable atoms as increasing numbers of unstable atoms experience fission more energy and neutrons are released resulting in a chain reaction of fission nuclear reactor 
The device giving large amount of energy through fission process at a controlled rate is called a nuclear reactor. A model nuclear reactor is shown in the figure. A nuclear reactor mainly consists of fuel, moderator, control rods, radiation shielding and coolant. Fuel The fissionable material used in the reactor is called the fuel. The commonly used fuels are uranium-238-92, uranium-235-92, plutonium-236-94 and thorium-232-90. The fuel material is sealed in aluminium cylinders. Moderator To slow down the fast neutrons produced during the fission process, a substance called a moderator is used. The purpose of moderator is to reduce the energy of neutron, but it should not absorb the neutrons. Control rods These rods absorb the neutrons and stop the chain reaction to proceed further. Cadmium or boron rods are generally used for this purpose. When the control rods are completely inserted in the graphite blocks, they absorb neutrons to such an extent that the chain reaction comes to a grinding halt. Radiation shielding Lead blocks and concrete walls of thickness of 10 meters are used for radiation shielding. Coolant The substance used to absorb heat generated in the reactor is called the coolant. Nuclear fusion Nuclear fusion is a process in which two light nuclei fuse together to form a heavier nucleus and energy will be released. Nuclear fusion takes place at very high temperature to the order of 10 to the power 7 Kelvin. Hence nuclear fusion reactions are also known as thermonuclear reactions. Nuclear fusion is the type of reaction taking place inside the sun. Hydrogen bomb is based on the principle of fusion.